Watch what happens when I use something called a JSON prompt in Google VO3. All right, so today we're talking about, wait, are we flying? No way. Okay, I'm doing this, let's go. That video costs 20 cents to make. The term JSON prompt is everywhere lately. And today I'm showing you exactly what that is and how you can use it to create amazing videos like these. So JSON prompting is simply a way to organize your instructions to VO3. So rather than typing a prompt like this into VO3 to get a video of a woman walking, instead you would use a JSON prompt that looks like this. With JSON prompting, you control everything from the camera angle to the lighting to the action and more. It's like giving VO3 a detailed recipe rather than just asking it to make you dinner. The more specific your instructions, the better your video will be. So a JSON prompt is just information organized into sections. So in this example, the shot section is about the camera. The subject section describes who is in the video and scene sets the location and lighting. With JSON prompts, your videos look professional and you can make small changes without starting over and you get consistent results every time. And the best part is you don't have to create these JSON prompts yourself. People are sharing amazing templates that you can use. So for example, over on Twitter, this thread from Tech Haller has got a series of great videos that were made inside Google VO3 with their JSON prompts used to make each video alongside them. So you can just click into any tweet and grab the JSON prompt by pressing this alt tag here. And then you can just easily modify small parts of the JSON prompt to get the exact video that you want based on that template. JSON prompting is just a structured way of telling VO3 exactly what you want. I'll link you to that Twitter thread below if you want to grab any of those templates and start playing around with JSON prompting yourself. Give it a try and you'll be creating great videos in no time. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What are your thoughts on AI videos in general? Good thing? Bad thing? Should Opus Clip be looking to bring VO3 into the tool so that you can use JSON prompts to generate videos inside Opus Clip? to quickly make B-roll for your clips. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Subscribe to the Opus Clip channel for more AI updates and just thoughts on topics like this. And I'll see you around.